What's up guys, it's your boy Jose Zaniga and today, well, we're starting to roll into summer so I, I kind of wanted to watch out for you guys because if there is a season where you do not want to make a mistake, you do not want to falter, you don't want to slip, it's during summer. Especially here in Florida or other parts of the world that are very similar, when the temperatures really start rising, when this season hits its peak, it gets so unbearably hot that if you make a style mistake here, you'll pay for it. You're gonna be a sweaty mess and today I want to go over these top seven summer style mistakes you're gonna to want to avoid to make sure that you still remain fresh while looking good. If that sounds interesting, let's hop into this video. Number one, wearing tacky t-shirts. People think just because it's summer, it's now acceptable to wear whatever or the least amount of clothes as possible. They'll go around everywhere wearing tank tops and wife beaters as if that looks good on you or even worse, some sort of tacky graphic t-shirt they picked up at Walmart. It's a much better idea to pick up light t-shirts that fit perfectly in our plain either white or black or solid colors. These are going to make you look muscular while still remaining fresh and stylish for the summer. Number two, sweating. Sweating is a real problem that happens during summer but the mistake that most guys make is that they just let it happen as if there's no real solution. Walking around all day pulling out the wedgie out your butt crack because it's so humid and moist back there. Boys do not make that mistake. Summer's right around the corner and if you want to prepare appropriately for summer you guys have to check out our sponsor Chassis. Chassis Cassie has a premium ball powder that is absolutely perfect for summer and don't just take my word for it, literally go on Amazon and see the reviews that these this ball powder has, it's the best on the market and everybody says so. They have hundreds on hundreds of reviews of guys just giving it positive reviews because this stuff actually works. And the reason their ball powder works so well is because it doesn't act like regular ball powder that it kind of just gets moist and muddy when you apply it and you start sweating. This one's infused with aloe vera, baking soda, and other unique ingredients that keep it nice and cool and fresh to the point that when you apply this ball powder, you literally feel this crazy cooling sensation that happens in your ball and if you try their new chassis bow powder, which is their ice, you get that crazy cool sensation four times longer than their original formulation. Meaning you'll walk around during summer when it's blazing hot, but inside your pants, it's gonna feel like there's an AC in there. This is why I think for summer, every dude needs to pick up a bottle of this ball powder because it's gonna be a lifesaver for your balls and your swamp ass. And moreover, I would recommend you even check out their shower primer. This is a shower primer that essentially does a five in one when you use it in the shower. It deep cleans, it eliminates odors, it moisturizes your skin, it softens your body hair, therefore reducing your body friction. Meaning you're not going to get any more chafing or any uncomfortable feeling so when you use it you're going to feel your skin just end up super soft and refreshed and during the day it's going to reduce the amount of sweating and the uncomfort you're going to feel when the temperatures really start to rise. So if you want to take matters into your own hands and make sure that this summer you're not a sweaty mess, go ahead, check out Chassis down below. Number three, wearing the wrong colors. I like wearing all black, I think it looks pretty sleek. But try wearing all black when it's 95 degrees plus outside. I promise you, you'll never do that again. And this is because dark colors absorb the light. So when the sunlight is at its peak, you're literally absorbing the light and it's basically just cooking you like a furnace. No matter how thin the fabric is, just wearing that black color will attract the heat and the sunlight and dry it near to your body, increasing your body temperature and causing you to sweat and feel uncomfortable. Look for light colors such as your white and your neutrals or your light grays because these colors actually repel the light making sure that you remain as cool as possible during the day. Number four, thinking that sandals and flip flops are acceptable. I'm telling you right now, women cannot stand seeing a dude's toes even if they're well kept. A general rule that I like to think of is that if you want to wear sandals, you want to be near a body of water whether it's a beach or a pool. Which rolls us on to number five, when you are wearing the shoes, going sockless. Again, there's another self-correcting error where what's going to happen is that your feet are going to be in a pool of sweat, your shoes are going to start stinking, and you're going to start getting blisters. If you want to get the no sock look, then wear no show socks. Number six, underdressing. Again boys, if you have something where you really want to impress somebody, whether it's a presentation or a first date, make sure you don't underdress just because the temperatures are high. Instead, you want to keep the same level of formality and all you're going to want to change is the fabric. Literally all you want to do is pick a lighter fabric within the same level of formality to make sure that you still look good. And finally number seven, 
keeping your pockets light. When it's summer, what you want to do is kind of strip down your EDC. So if you're a guy that carries a lot between your wallet, your phone, and whatever other everyday carry you, you have on your person, what you want to make sure for summer is that you want to kind of bring that down and make it as minimal as possible. Keeping your pockets light is going to make sure you feel a little bit lighter and not as heavy to make sure you feel comfortable and cool throughout the day. And that's pretty much for this week's video, guys. Those are seven style mistakes most guys are making that you want to avoid to make sure you remain cool in summer. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Chassis. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.